In this video, I am going to show you how to set up your manual Leica stereo microscope. And by manual, uh, I mean a stereo microscope that has nothing uh, connected to the computer other than the camera. So, once we have installed the LESX application, we need to tell the software what hardware that is connected to uh, the camera. And this we do in the LA LASX hardware configurator. Uh, and it's icon you see here. It should be on your desktop if you allow shortcuts during the installation stage, but if it's not, then you will find it through the Windows search, uh, search bar or search tool. Uh, so we're in the hardware configurator, and the first thing we're going to do is enter the hardware setup. And in this step, we will tell uh, the, hard, the software what microscope we are, we are using. So in this list is here, you have a bunch of stereo microscopes and compound microscopes and digital microscopes as well. In this case, we can just choose the Leica M80. If your microscope isn't in this list, then you can also configure a generic stereo microscope. But that is a separate video uh, on how to do that. So, so please uh, look for that one or contact your micromedic product specialist in order to get the correct video. Uh, but in this video, we say that we have a Leica M80 uh, that we want to configure. We don't have to enter anything else because these are the parts for motorization and coded microscopes. And for this video, we are just talking about manual microscopes. So let's press OK. Uh, we can then move on to configure. Uh, in the configure tab, we have uh, a bunch of different uh, parts that we need to tell the software uh, which ones we are using. Uh, for starters, there is the optics carrier that we already chose in the hardware setup, but you still see it here. You can see that it's correct. It's the M80. Then we can move on to eyepieces. Typically, we have 10x eyepieces. So let's say we have that, that in this case. It's already marked. Uh, you have the article number here. You have the magnification factors and what type it is here, or magnification power here, which is the most important thing for measurements and, and, and stuff like that for going, going forward. So if you don't find your exact article number here, you, you are fine if you choose uh, a part number which has has the same uh, magnification power uh, and then we go ahead to the tube and we can just say we have a trinocular tube like this and then the camera adapter you can choose so choose the one you have uh, on your microscope uh, again important that you get the magnification power correct here and camera so checking the connection to the camera. So if you don't find any camera here, uh, then you're having a problem. I don't find a camera here. I only find them in camera and simulator, but that's because I don't have a camera connected to my computer right now. Uh, but you should see your camera popping up here. Good. And next step is accessory. And accessory is if you have a coaxial illuminator. And coaxial illuminator is an illuminator that goes uh, through the optics carrier and through the uh, objective vertically. Uh, and that coaxial illuminator, this special illuminator, has a magnification power of 1.5, and that is why you need to enter it here in the hardware configurator. But if you don't have that, then stay with no coaxial illuminator. And the last step is to tell the software what my, what the objective we are using. And again, important is that you get the, cor uh, the magnification power correct. But if you find your exact objective, uh, then it's great. You choose that in the list here. And once we have done this, uh, we are we are done. And we can exit the hardware configurator and we can open up the LASX application uh, and just go ahead with our imaging.